Alrighty guys, back out again with the uh, Tom Brown tracker tonight, and uh, I'm losing a little bit of light here, but we'll see if we can get in some video. Uh, it took me a while just to find a, a down Palo Verde tree out here in the desert. They uh, they don't fall over very often, uh, unlike in the uh, urban areas and the soft soil. They, they fall, fall over, over every time it gets windy. So anyhow, uh, I'm just gonna clear this away a little bit, and we'll get to get to chopping here. Okay, this Palo Verde is mostly dead. Um, you can see it's dead out here, dead here, but it does have a few live areas, so that's what we're gonna go for. Just to get that out of my way. I do like to hold it at the back like this, but it does try to get away from me. They missed that time. Okay, that was a pretty good workout. Well, I think I'm combining two video gut videos here, guys, but basically you can see that reprofiled edge there. And it did do a pretty good job. Uh, much better than last time. The type of wood I used last time was much harder. It was much older. It was dead, actually. And uh, it still has some moisture in it. I just wanted to show you the notching, even though this is a big piece of wood here. Okay, so as a saw, this thing is uh, is a real sorry situation. Um, you know, you're not going to go through a branch like this. It's easier to chop through it. That's how efficient the saw is, or I should say, inefficient. I mean, I could saw on this for a while, and maybe I'll show you that. Show you that, but let's start by showing you the uh, the notch here first. So, as you can see, a nice clean notch is cut. Now I'll set this camera aside and I'll just saw in the same spot here for a while.
So there it is, guys. Not much progress there. By comparison, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out a uh, Gerber folding saw and cut through this, just so that you have something to gauge it by, uh, both the chopping performance and the, uh, the saw performance here. I've got the uh, Gerber folding saw here. I forget the uh, exact make, the make of this one, but this is the one that comes with the, uh, the bone saw blade and this wood saw blade. Anyhow, I'm gonna have at it here. I, I do have to be careful with this in sticky wood that's uh, laden with a lot of moisture because this will bind up and it's real easy to uh, break a blade Fine. like this. Let's just compare, see how that goes through a piece of wood. The same one, basically. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's why you don't have cheap junk saws right there. <laughs> Good example of a piece of junk saw. This is not something you want to take out into the wilderness. But uh, here we go. I'm just going to start right next to it. Very sticky wood there. Okay, so the one-handed approach actually worked a little bit better. Now that's uh, a lot more efficient than chopping or trying to saw with this blade, with that uh, Tom Brown tracker blade. Yeah, two different things, but just wanted to give you some kind of a uh, control reference there. Let's go ahead through this again. I'm gonna do it one hand this time. This seems to alleviate some of the, the binding that's happening. You can see there I've got a nice uh, clean disc cut right off of that. I'm gonna go through once more. I did slow it down there inadvertently when I tried to uh, catch the clip falling. I made the, bit, the blade bind up. Let's do it once more. Oh, there we go. Number two off. So yeah, sawing still takes work, but nothing like hacking away with that uh, with that blade. Okay, let's try the old drilling technique here. See what we get. Get some of the slippery bark off of here, if I can. Full circles with it. Well, yeah, yeah, it drills. Um, it drills a very wide and flat circle simply because of the way that the uh, the blade angle comes off so steeply. You can see the angle at which that blade contacts the wood here. If we consider this the 90 degree down line and drew a line across here, it shows you the shape of the shape of the hole right there. So it's gonna be roughly a quarter inch deep and about twice that distance wide. Okay guys, don't know if you can tell, but the, the sun's below the horizon now. I'm losing uh, light to video. So uh, I just wanted to give you something. I've, it's been a while. I meant to get back to the sooner. And uh, next I'll try all the other me methods listed in that book there. And uh, as always, thanks for coming along, guys. Catch you next time. Bye. It's quail.
back there sparring right next to a rabbit. <laughs> Send to you.